a bird, but what an extraordinary one, the kiwi. It's territorial and calls stridently to proclaim its ownership. It finds its prey by smell. Uniquely, its nostrils are on the tip of its beak. It's found a worm, but if it drops it, its eyesight is so poor that it can't see it, and it has to smell for it with its beak. Its tiny, vestigial wings are invisible, buried in its plumage, and it's lost all sign of a tail. If the kiwis live in a patch of forest close to the sea, then in the evening they may come down onto the beach to look for these. Sandhawks, they love them. And that will give us a chance, a rare chance, to see them out in the open. To do so properly, we have to use our special camera. The kiwi is hunting along the strand line, where there are lots of hoppers feeding on the decaying seaweed. sense of smell is so acute, it can pick out the largest, juiciest hoppers deep in the sand without even seeing them. Probing sand with your nostrils is all very well, but it does clog them up, and you need to blow them clear every now and then. It's nocturnal and furry. It finds its way by smell, it lives in holes and digs for worms and grubs. It's a bird equivalent of a badger. <laughs> <laughs> 